A basic shipping method allows you to specify the cost on each individual product. So let's just create a basic shipping method here. We'll call it next day and we select the basic radio button there from the shipping type and then we can just click on save at the bottom. So you can see here on the shipping screen it says name, next day, type basic and in the other information column it says post as shipping one. So if you were if you're not using the product manager, then you need to post with each product a shipping one variable with the with the cost uh, for that the the amount that it costs that to ship that product for that shipping method. Um, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to use the product manager because it makes things a lot easier. So let's just go into the product manager, and if we take a look at the bottle of Chardonnay expand the shipping section in the product properties and we can give it a price of five. So that would mean it would cost five pounds to ship this product. Now you'll notice there's a lot of other fields here as well. Uh, you can also have a step shipping method within a basic shipping method. Now it's not as complicated as it sounds. If I put there three, if I put there one, that means the first bottle of Chardonnay would cost five pounds to ship. Uh, if there's two, uh, the second one will cost an additional three pounds. And if there's three or more than three, each additional one would cost an additional pound. So in other words, if you bought three bottles of Chardonnay, it would cost five, six, seven, eight, nine pounds to ship. Or And every additional one after that would cost an additional pound. So say you bought four, it would cost 10 pounds. Um, the other thing you can do as well, which is quite interesting, is the shipping group field there. Um, so if we just put a value in there, we should put my group in there, then that would mean that um, it would, uh, whereas uh, at in the example I just said, it's, uh, it's the amount of Chardonnay that you purchase. If you had another product, for example, the bottle of Peas Porter, uh, which had the same shipping group name, then it would add up the total quantity of all the products in that shipping group. In other words, the, the amount of Peas Porter and Chardonnay to calculate whether it should be using uh, the shipping second or shipping others uh, amount to, to, to calculate the shipping cost. Uh, but we'll keep, we're going to keep this really simple. So let's just have... Uh, the cost is five pounds. A couple of other fields here as well. Max shipping, you can set the maximum shipping uh, for this item because, of course, uh, that's five pounds per item. If they buy 10 bottles of Chardonnay, it's going to cost 50 pounds, but you might not want shipping to go over 20 pounds, so you could put 20 in the max shipping field. And the shipping override field, if you've got a product uh, that um, that essentially costs a lot more to ship, say, for example, uh, you're selling individual items, and you, uh, but one of your items requires like a pallet to deliver it on or something which just makes the entire shipping method much more expensive then if you put a value in the shipping override field then it will replace uh, the entire cost of the shipping with the value that you put in there and if, if you've got a number of products with a shipping override amount it will replace the shipping cost with the with the highest shipping override amount in any of the products in the basket but we're going to keep this simple as I say we just have that as five pounds if I click on save let me go into the bottle of peas porter and expand the shipping uh, section of the product properties and we will say that's three pounds. So this is next day shipping and the cost three pounds. So if we now go to the if we now go to the store, so our World of Wines demo store. So now if I add a bottle of Chardonnay, you'll see that the shipping cost there is five pounds. And if we add a bottle of peas porter as well, that's going to cost an additional three pounds. So you see the price for the shipping. Uh, goes up to eight pounds there. So that's basic shipping.